Jamal Bryant said 85% of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Watch this. 85% of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Eighty-five percent of his life, he was doing what he was not called to do. God, y'all done got quiet. For eighty-five percent of his life, he was not flowing in his God-given function. Eighty-five percent of his life, he is doing what his natural father wanted. But it did not line up with his divine DNA. For 85% of his life, and he's anointed, he's called, he's chosen, and he's wrong. This guy pastored one of the biggest churches in Atlanta, Georgia, not including the people who follow him on social media. And it gets worse and worse. For this guy on prior videos, I tried to show many of you that he was not qualified to be a pastor. This guy said during an interview that he needs a different gospel. A 37 year old who's used to getting some, I need a different kind of gospel. Now, we got to have real gospel for grown up. <laughs> Notice what he's teaching is not a part of the Bible. It's because he's teaching a new gospel. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 8, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So Jamal Bryant is accursed, and whoever sit under him is being led astray. Do you all remember I said false teachers receive their doctrine from devils? The scripture says, the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, taking heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. True believers teaches sound doctrine. False prophets teaches the doctrines of devils. So wherever there's a false prophet, there's always going to be a false Christ. And notice Jamal Bryant is not teaching the Christ that's in the Bible because his teaching is not in alignment with scriptures. And according to Jamal Bryant's doctrine, whoever this Jesus is, 85% of his life, he was out of order because no way he could be referring to the Jesus of the Bible. Because nowhere does scriptures implies or make reference that 85% of Jesus' life, he was out of order and he was wrong. The scriptures declares that Jesus was sinless and he was perfect. And Joseph and Mary, being his earthly parents, was in the will of God. So how in the world was Jesus 85% out of order? That would mean that the Bible is wrong. So we would have to go looking for another Jesus. And it gets worse because now thousands upon thousands of people believe exactly what Jamal Bryant said. Did you all hear them hollering in the background as if God gave him some revelation that contradicts the word of God? If anyone teach you a revelation that contradicts the word of God, then it came from the devil. And Jamal Bryant has a track record of teaching the doctrine of devils. And some of you may say, that's your brother in Christ. You need to pray for him. He's not a brother in Christ. Jamal Bryant is a false teacher. And nowhere does the scriptures implies that false teachers are your brothers in Christ. However, according to scriptures, false teachers were always rebuked and exposed and their names were called out in the Bible and the congregation was warned not to follow these false teachers. They were rebuked sharply in the Bible and they were never considered as a brother. Jamal Bryant has blood on his hands. 
I'm telling you, he's in trouble with God. He pridefully teaches false doctrine. That's why his ministry is in agreement with abominations and everything else that contradicts the word of God because they serve in a false messiah. If you sit under a false prophet, you're going to worship a false Jesus. And this is exactly what they're doing at his ministry. They worship in an idol that he calls Jesus. That's why he said 85% of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Notice Jamal Bryant's doctrine contradicts foundational scriptures. The question we need to impose now is to the people who follow him. Why are you all following a heretic who have bewitched you to believe in a different doctrine? Do you understand that y'all are being led to worship the wrong Jesus? And did not Jesus say in the last days, many false Christ shall arise and deceive many? Wherever there's a false prophet, there's always a false Christ. Matter of fact, the false prophets and the false teachers are paving the way for the people to receive a false messiah, which equates to the devil disguising himself to be Jesus Christ. First John chapter four and verse one says, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into this world. Try the spirit. And if it's preaching a different gospel, it is of the devil. So don't be deceived. God bless you.